These are the uh, Ultimate 3, uh, our flagship uh, model. These are a five-way active uh, horn system. And as uh, you can tell, it's not an ordinary loudspeaker. We have built the uh, first version of this uh, about 10 years ago. And uh, this is the uh, third uh, version of uh, this product. Uh, this is the first time <coughs> we're showing it uh, at CES. We thought it's uh, going to be a good idea for people to uh, get uh, familiar with, uh, with this product and also uh, its size because it's not very easy to uh, capture. And the entire structure here is made out of uh, aluminum. It uh, requires uh, an extensive uh, uh, machining capacity and capability in order to uh, machine these parts. Uh, unlike uh, uh, many horns, uh, there's quite uh, unique uh, features that are going on here. First of all, the fact that the horns are actually are in a baffle. Uh, which helps uh, tremendously in their performance since the uh, diffraction happens away from the uh, lips of the horn. Um, we're using compression uh, drivers from uh, Japan to, uh, to drive these. Uh, the mid-bass horn is uh, cast out of uh, aluminum as well. It uh, goes down to about 120 hertz, which then uh, uh, transfer to the uh, woofer um, on the uh, bottom here, driven by a 2,000 uh, watt uh, amplifier that comes with uh, the system. This product was designed, and the way it looks is is uh, a, um, a combination of um, the, the the limitation that uh, that a horn system uh, presents. First of all, it uh, is a very efficient. Uh, proposition, which means the bandpass of the drivers is quite narrow, so you need quite a bit of them. That's why it's a five-way. Also, horns, as you start covering uh, lower frequencies, gets uh, large quite quickly. So it was quite a challenge to uh, put all these elements together uh, in some sort of uh, apparatus that actually uh, can can stand by itself and be put in in a room. Uh, there's a lot going on here, as um, as 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 uh, you could see. These are Tetrix horn. Uh, this uh, uh, big machined horn here is 22 inches in diameter. Um, the uh, length here of, uh, of this horn is uh, almost 8 feet. And uh, it was uh, casted out of uh, aluminum, which is a very large uh, um, uh, casting to do at this uh, size. It's also interesting uh, in terms of it starts as a rectangular and it expands to a trapoise. So this horn is expanding and twisting at the same time. This was done uh, so we could actually fit it on the structure and create the trapoise that uh, you see here. As you can see, the, uh, the speakers are uh, exposed. So you could basically see how the structure is put together. Uh, we have three compression drivers here made by L in Japan. Uh, we have the mid-bass compression driver that is uh, up here driving the mid-bass. Uh, there are uh, the passive, some of the passive components and the amplifier is housed here in the, uh, in the back. The version 3 have a new um, back support, new um, bass driver and new uh, mid-bass driver. And um, the total weight of the system is about uh, 1,000 pounds. It does have a price and it is $600,000.